Transurfer and the Transurfing Curious. My name is Renee Garcia, guys, and this is Transurfing TV. And today on Transurfing TV, just a little ditty about overcoming PTSD with ease. Say what? Yeah, I know PTSD is a pretty heavy subject. So the, the thought of overcoming it with ease, my gosh. I wish I would have had access to this video when I was diagnosed with PTSD. I actually had to crack the code of PTSD myself. So for those of you that are struggling with PTSD, or for those of you that have experienced maybe a heightened stress response or being easily overstimulated by your environment, more anxiety, panic attacks, all that kind of stuff, I really do believe that PTSD is a much more, is a much wider issue than we probably give it credit for. And that's because I think that a lot of people are struggling with PTSD symptoms, yet they aren't properly diagnosed or they don't understand what it is that they're encountering. And for me, my PTSD was actually triggered by a medical condition where I was prescribed a very commonly used steroid that gave me such serious side effects that it traumatized me. It was really, really bad. And I, I believe just from hearing all of the stories and questions and messages that people have sent me over the years, that a lot of people are struggling with PTSD that stems from almost very normal circumstances like, you know, the overstress at work or a family environment where you're struggling to sort of hit a dynamic that is functioning. I think that when you live with stress for an extended period of time, it becomes traumatic and PTSD can absolutely stem from even some of the most normal, typical life circumstances, such as mine. I mean, mine was a pretty extreme event, but again, I had a very common medical condition that was treated with a very, very common steroid. So this is a video for anybody that is struggling with PTSD, has struggled with PTSD and has flare ups. Maybe you are struggling with, again, a heightened stress response, overstimulation, anxiety, panic attacks, whatever. And I have found that transurfing concepts absolutely have helped me in transforming PTSD into a forward and upward way of thinking rather than resonating with this residual prior event that caused me to become traumatized. So I'm going to run through five super easy steps in helping you to shift your perspective and your thinking away from PTSD symptoms or a PTSD diagnosis or any, any sort of anxiety or overstimulation. I really feel as though it is all in the perspective, absolutely. And I think if you are challenged today and you can actively apply these next points that I'm going to offer, you will see almost immediate relief from symptoms. Before I get started, remember to like this video and comment and subscribe to my channel, Transurfing TV. My course is Reality 2.0 and Tufty 2.0 down below. Also, I'm going to be coming out with a new course soon called Transurfing Trauma. So if you are really, really immersed in the symptoms post-traumatic event, I would definitely recommend this course coming up, but I will give more details on that as we get closer to the launch date. And join us on the Facebook group, International Transurfing Institute Facebook group for support. If you have something you need to talk about, the Transurfing group is definitely a good place to do that. So what I would like to say first off before I start my five points quickly, 
is that me being diagnosed with PTSD was kind of like a double-edged sword. On one sense, I had relief that I understood what it was I was encountering, what it was I was going through, because I was very, very confused, again, after having struggled with a medical condition, given a very typical steroid to treat the condition, I had no idea that it would traumatize me to the extent that I would, I would have PTSD, right? So it, it was shocking to me, but I was, I was at the same time very comforted by the idea that somebody knew what, what was going on with me. On the other hand, what happened after I got my diagnosis was that I really started to resonate with PTSD. And this is where I think a lot of people, I don't want to say go wrong, but it's not what you want to do if you truly are looking to overcome PTSD symptoms. So what this looks like reading a lot about PTSD and researching it. And, and this is what I did when I got the diagnosis. I, of course, went home immediately and I'm like, PTSD, uh, you know, and start ruminating and, and, and thinking, oh, I've got that. And this is just accepting the frequency of this condition and resonating with it more and more and more and more. And for those of you that are watching this right now that have active PTSD, I bet you are actually starting to feel your symptoms right now watching this. So this is a really, really good example of <laughs> what not to do with PTSD, even though this is an informational and educational video on how to overcome it, you're focusing on it. So it's actually going to exacerbate your symptoms. So when I got diagnosed and when I've started resonating with the frequency of PTSD more, I started feeling it a lot more and then I went about trying to manage it a lot more. So I was in a constant state of needing to needing to destimulate myself. I was really struggling with overstimulation. I remember there was a day I was walking down a street, just, you know, going somewhere and a fire truck went by and I actually like hit the pavement and put my hands over my ears and was like on my knees or in a fetal position, just like, oh my God, make it stop. I was not able to absorb excess stimulation, primarily noise, but also other events. And this is very classic PTSD, you know, when, when people return from, from war, you know, and they have PTSD, if they hear a loud bang, it'll send them immediately into this, into this stage of a state of fright, right? It's, that's really what it is. And I, I really started to go about my life looking to my external environment for what was going to trigger my symptoms. And again, as Transurfing teaches us, we always get what we actively do not want. So I didn't want to be overstimulated. Therefore, my reality was presenting, presenting to me lots and lots of ways for me to be overstimulated. And I would respond to these events Obviously, I would get overstimulated and then I would go into these periods of retraction where I would have to put myself into a dark room or separate myself from people, not answer my phone for a number of days. I mean, it was really, really bad. My reality started to, to, to shut down and I was closing in on myself and I was making myself very, very small. And I discovered that CBD weed would help. So I was smoking a bunch of CBD weed and I was really like just living with this thing nonstop. So I woke up, I see myself, I see my reality. I cannot live like this. 
a friend of mine, when I told her that I had been diagnosed with PTSD, she says, oh, I have PTSD. I said, you do? And she said, yeah, I've had PTSD from a kid, from some abuse from a, as a child. And I said, you, but you still have it? And she said, yeah, you never, you never heal from PTSD. You struggle with it your, your, your whole life. It's there. You just learn to manage it. And I was like, oh, hell no, I'm not, I'm not doing this my whole life. There is no way in hell I'm going to, I'm going to tolerate, I, I can't, I can't live like this. So that's when I really started to view what it was I was experiencing, my response to my external environment, what I was doing to try to manage, manage my PTSD, which was actually resonating with it even more through a transurfing filter. And I'm not gonna sit here and say that I don't have any symptoms of PTSD anymore. I absolutely do. This move that I just went through, you know, I uprooted myself, took myself away from my comfort zone. It was extremely stressful. I sold my house. We moved to a place sight unseen. There was a lot of uncertainty and it flared up a little bit, but I know exactly what to do with it now. And it absolutely is just like nipping it in the bud, right? I do not let it settle in and its roots to, to, to really, really get firmly planted in my reality and have it grow into this thing anymore that obstructs my life in any way. I have brought it back down to the place that it needs to be. I've right-sized it, right? So my five points. One, acknowledge PTSD for what it is. Residual frequency of prior fear, trauma, or shock. So what this means is, if you watched my video on karma, Essentially what I, what I was saying is karma from a transurfing perspective is a residual frequency from a past life, a past life where something happened, something good, something bad, something whatever, but it creates, it's an event and it creates a frequency that is powerful. And this frequency sort of resonates for an extended period of time in the case of karma throughout lifetimes. It might be a small amount of it, but it's enough to make an impact. PTSD is exactly the same. It's an event. It's an event that transpires and there's an initial shock, fear, you know, some sort of extreme emotion and that extreme emotion doesn't just die. The frequency of that emotion continues to carry for an extended period of time. So for me, this was a very, very eye-opening insight. I was just scared. I was just traumatized. I was shocked. I was whatever. And in my life, I was experience, experiencing a, a vibration of that sensation or that essence or that state of being. And this allowed me to not be confused about what it was that I was feeling or sensing or being. I could, I could just say to myself, this is, this is an extended frequency. This is an extended frequency. So number two, stop telling yourself you have PTSD. Start telling yourself your frequency is ideal and actively work towards improving your frequency. So again, getting back to what I said originally about being diagnosed with PTSD, double-edged sword. On one hand, there were answers. On the other hand, I got the diagnosis, so then I just started resonating with PTSD like motherfucker, right? I was really, really, really in it, and I was living PTSD. I was thinking PTSD. I was just resonating with it so hard that it became even worse after I got the diagnosis. So 
what I realized I needed to do is I needed to shift out of fear frequency and shift into empowered frequency or blissful frequency. So instead of thinking about, oh, I've got to manage my PTSD or fear frequency, I'm going to nurture self-love frequency, positive frequency, anything that could, anything that could evolve my frequency, I focused on that rather than trying to manage the fear frequency. Three, forward and up version of thinking rather than downward and back version of thinking. So this is one of these ideas that has helped me in so many different areas of my life. Forward and up version of thinking is me focusing on all the things I like, all the things that I want, the things that I can do, the things that are working out, all the positive information in my environment. This is me looking to my future in a positive way. This is me doing positive things and thinking positive things and feeling positively about myself and my reality and my environment. Downward and back version of thinking is me resonating with the PTSD, resonating with fear, ruminating about the traumatic medical condition and the side effects of the medication, me thinking about what I had left and what I had lost and oh, this sucks and oh, this isn't working and oh, I don't feel well and why me and self-pity and all that kind of stuff. So again, focusing on what you like what you want, what is working, and turning away from what hasn't worked, what isn't working, what went wrong, past, all that kind of stuff. And again, this is monumental in all areas of life, not just dealing with PTSD symptoms. So four, self-love, self-care, and self-development. I once viewed what happened to me as the worst thing that could ever have happened to me. I left everything because the symptoms were so bad. I thought I was losing my mind. I had to be hospitalized. I moved from Los Angeles. I gave up my business for a while. There was a bunch of things, consequences, if you will, perceived consequences at the time of, you know, a, 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 a results of this event and I thought, oh my God, this is the worst thing that could have ever happened to me. Now looking back on it, it was absolutely the best thing that could have ever happened to me because it gave me that moment to choose something else for myself. Something big had to happen for me to wake up and be like, this isn't what I want. This isn't, I'm not living the life intended for me. I'm, this thing happened and I chose to view it, I choose to view it now as a reset button. And me pressing the reset button on myself, on my reality, on my choices, it helped me to understand the value of extreme amounts of self-care, self-love, and self-development. If this thing had not transpired the way it had, I probably wouldn't have done this. So diving in to self-love, self-care, and self-development, just like this move that I went through and all the stress, as soon as we got to a hotel, and I'll admit, like, it, stuff flared up a little bit. I would feel overstimulated. I would feel some anxiety. But I knew as soon as I got to that hotel room, and my partner was really good about this, I'd be like, I have to go into self-care mode. So I would bring the bag in, I would get the dog set up, and then it was just a nice bath, listening to something really soothing, self-caring with products, self-massage. And I would spend like two hours just really, really taking care of myself. And this would pull me up out of that PTSD mindset with those symptoms. So loving myself, caring for myself, and viewing any time some of these symptoms flare up as an opportunity to learn something or develop something about myself in some way, awesome, absolutely awesome. So five, to wrap this up, 
protect yourself as you heal and cleanse your layer of reality. So quickly, because I know this is running a little bit over, if you are in an environment that is not cohesive for healing and recovery, and you are struggling with symptoms of PTSD, I would highly, highly, highly recommend managing your reality to get you into a place that is going to facilitate your healing and, and self-development and self-love and all that kind of stuff. I got myself into a relationship shortly after I was diagnosed with PTSD and I won't get into the details, but it was very, very chaotic. There was a child involved, a two-year-old child who had some, some issues with behavior and stuff like that, crying a lot and screaming. And this was really triggering to me. And I realized even though the relationship had some potential that the environment was not going to support me in doing the things that I needed to do in order to move myself on from this PTSD. So I had to make a call for myself and actually detach from this relationship because I understood the value of cleaning my layer of reality to support growth and self-care and self-love and self-development and getting myself into a place where I could really focus on that forward and up version of thinking and not be in an environment where I was like, oh my God, I don't want to hear a kid screaming all day. And I don't want to deal with these issues and that, these sorts of things and those sorts of things. And, you know, all of this needing to manage chaos wasn't working, wasn't working, right? So getting yourself to a place where your layer of reality is ideal and support supportive of you moving on from your PTSD is crucial. So good luck to you if you are challenged by PTSD and let me just leave you with these words. There is a way out and the distance between where you are now and being recovered from PTSD for the most part isn't that far away if you choose it to be so and use these concepts to help you facilitate that change. Let me know your thoughts on this video and thank you so much for watching. Bye.